Welcome back. This is News at 3 coming to you live on Politics and Business TV. My name is Itris Amina. On the news at this hour, plans have been reached in advance by the federal government, Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and Dangote Refinery to make far-reaching changes in Nigeria's process of lifting and distribution of petrol. Under the current arrangements, the NNPCL allocates crude oil for refining and also undertakes the distribution of petrol to different parts of the nation directly and through the oil marketers and the poor owners. This arrangement enables the NNPCL to subsidize a product whose price remains high due mainly to the low value of the naira, currently hovering at a thousand a thousand and six hundred naira per dollar at the unofficial market. But under the new arrangements being considered, the NNPCL would continue to provide crude oil but ceased to play such a dominant role in the distribution of the products of the $20 billion refinery. This would open up the space for oil marketers and depot owners to conclude arrangements with the management of the 650,000 BPD refinery and lift patrol directly from the facility. Implementation Committee meets reports and indicated that the details of the new arrangements have been developed for review at the Implementation Committee on Crude Oil Sales in Naira, tentatively fixed for Wednesday this week in Abuja. And in another news, a popular activist, Deji Adeyanju, has confirmed that the singer and social media sensation Dalentin Okoye, aka Speed Dalentin, said to be missing, is being detained by the Nigerian police force in Abuja. Adeyanju, who is also a lawyer, revealed that Speed Dalentin, also known as Akpi, was arrested in Lagos last Friday and subsequently transferred to Abuja, where he has been where he has remained in detention since. He claimed that the arrest was based on a formal complaint from Grammy Award-winning artist Bonner Boy. He, however, did not, did not give details of the petition as the activist revealed this in a post on his ex-handle on Tuesday. Earlier, a social media influencer, Constance Nwogu, raised an alarm regarding the alleged disappearance of Speed Dalentin. In a message shared on social media on Monday, Ngogu expressed concern over the artist's whereabouts, noting that he has been unre unreachable for three days. He pointed out that the last post on Speed Dalenton's social media page was made three days ago, a departure from his unusual frequent online activities. And now the organized labor comprising the Nigeria Union of Local Government Employees Nigeria Union of Teachers and Nigeria Union of Pensioners has proposed a staff redistribution, placement and auditing exercise to ascertain the actual numbers of local government workers, primary school teachers and pensioners in all the 774 local government areas nationwide. Under the Joint Action Committee of Local Governments Based Unions, they also recommended an embargo on recruitment of new staff into local governments, including teachers, for one year from the date of the Supreme Court judgment on direct payments to ensure stability and consideration. These are parts of the recommendations JAC aimed at effective oper operations of local governments during the direct remittance of federal allocation following the recent Supreme Court's granting of financial autonomy to the local governments. The president of NUT, Titus Amba, president general of NULGE, Ambali Akim, and president of NUP, Godwin Abumishi, in seven points recommend recommendations, noted that for a hitch free takeoff of the direct payment system, JAC recommends that there should be staff redistribution, placement, and auditing exercise to ascertain the actual numbers of local government workers, primary school teachers, and pensioners. And now the head of civil service of the Federation, D.D. Wilson Jack, has reintroduced the civil service anthem for workers in the federal civil service. According to Wilson Jack, the anthem aims to encourage civil servants and drive reforms in this service. 
It is reported that the anthem was initially introduced in 2018, speaking at a meeting with media executives in Abuja, according to a transcript released on Tuesday, the head of service stressed the need for the civil service to deliver on the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Tinubu. And now to the foreign space where French authorities have ordered Omar bin Laden, son of slain Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden, to leave the country over posts on social media. On social media, France's interior minister announced on Tuesday. Born in Saudi Arabia where he spent his early years, Omar bin Laden, 43, has also lived in Sudan and Afghanistan. He left his father at the age of 19 and eventually settled in Normandy in northern France in 2016, taking up painting. France's new interior minister, Bruno Rutali, said on X that Omar bin Laden had lived in the department of Orne in Normandy as a spouse of a British national. The minister said that the jihad son posted comments on his social media networks in 2023 that advocated terrorism. And now Victor Simhen who says he is enjoying life in his new home in Istanbul where he is playing for Galatasaray on a season, season, loan, season long loan from Napoli. The former sporting Chaleroy player was met with thousands of enthusiastic fans who thronged the Istanbul airport, Turkey, to welcome him as he arrived in the country at 3.30 a.m. to complete his loan move. Osim Hen reciprocated the fans' love by changing his bio while immediately deleting all traces of his parents' club, Napoli, from his social media page and fronted pictures and colors of Galatasaray. Osim Hen's updated bio now reads, professional football player for Galatasaray and Super Eagles of Nigeria accompanied by a new picture display of a player with his face cropped out in a Galatasaray jersey. His banner image featured his back with the number 45 shirt carrying his daughter, symbolizing a fresh chapter in his career. In a recent interview with the Toto Sport, the 25-year-old emphasized his love for his new home, asserting that he was happy. Thank you for watching. I am Idris Amina. Bye for now.